This is how you know that the New York Times, this is just one example, one small example, but an, but an example nonetheless. This is how you know that the New York Times is headed toward um, or headed in the direction of the National Enquirer and all sorts of other rag newspapers. Um, here is the here's the article on this Colorado baker who, um, for religious reasons, didn't want to bake a wedding cake for a gay couple. Okay, so the Supreme Court, uh, New York Times, said in a na- in a narrow decision, Supreme Court sides with Baker who turned away a gay couple. Okay, watch this. A narrow decision. Where is it? Ah, writing for the majority in a seven to two decision. (laughs) A seven to two decision is not narrow. And New York Times, they, it's, it's a bait and switch, right? So when you search for uh, something like gay couple and baker to find out, to, you know, see what Google, Google brings to you, there you go. First one, left-hand column, first, right? In a narrow decision, Supreme Court side with Baker turned away gay couple. So if you're not gonna if you're not gonna click on this and read that it was a seven to two decision, if you're just gonna read the headline and move on with your life, and then uh, you know when you're out and about, and somebody brings this up and uh, and you mention, oh, you're right, I heard uh, the Supreme Court in a narrow decision. Well, if you don't read the article, you'll you won't you'll you won't find out that the um, that the New York Times is is just another. They're, this is this is the way they're going. They're going down bait and switch sensationalism. I mean, they've always been involved with sensationalism, and they've probably always been involved with bait and switch. I just don't. I, I don't read that that crappy paper anyway. But uh, so that's their idea. Seven to two is a, is their idea of narrow. Well, uh, what would they consider eight eight and one? Or nine and nine and zero. <laughs> what a joke! How completely pathetic the New York Times is. <laughs>